Welcome back to the Tomarosa. Today we're going to go around and get ready for Christmas, show you a different area on the Tomarosa than you've seen before. And get our Christmas tree. What are we going to do first today? Uh, you have to get some greenery and like berries and stuff for your centerpiece. Yes, and then we're going to so we're going to go down our driveway. It's about a quarter mile down to our driveway entrance. Behind me is the BPA transmission lines. BPA is Bonneville Power Authority or Bonneville Power Administration. We're not super excited about having transmission lines across our property, but we do like electricity. Plus the poles actually make really good perches for raptors. Up in our little woodlot area, we also put in some perches about three years ago and they are still being used. We're almost down to our driveway entrance. There's Stacy. And there is a driveway that goes up towards our farm. This is our driveway entrance. And there is Blue Creek Road. And today I'm gonna to be getting some things to do. Greenery and other wreaths and stuff for the house. Here are the goodies I have thus far to make some greenery and things around the house. We've left our driveway entrance and we're walking up our fence line. Stacy's working on getting some snowberries for me. And then we're going to keep working up north. We are up near the high point of our farm. You can see the farmstead down there. The high point's actually over there. But we are now going to go way down there to find a tree. Call that the panhandle. It's long and narrow. And uh, that's part of our farm too. It's pretty steep. It's sketchy driving up and down here. Rebuilding this barbed wire fence on this hill. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, we're going to take this little tree right here in the middle. Not only are we getting a Christmas tree, but we're practicing forestry practices. This little grove here, they're kind of crowded. So we're going to take that middle one out to open it up for a few of the others. There's that little Christmas tree. Now we're just going to get it all set up. Carly's like, why is there a tree in the house? Why is there a tree in the house? And here are all my goodies. I did buy some things from the craft store, some foam and things, and also tape and wire and some bells and ribbon. And we're going to give it a go. See what we can create here. Here is the wreath that I made. I just kept wrapping things around until it looked mostly okay. I think it's nice and festive. Here's our little tree ready to be decorated. They say you're supposed to put presents under the tree. My mom got us whatever's in this box and it is literally under the tree so I guess that's okay. Here's a final look at my farm-made decorations. That's just for the front porch. Here's my wreath. Today we're going to continue working on decorating the farm for Christmas. <laughs> we're going to put up some lights today. <laughs> we came to get something out of the barn and the cows all came running out of the field because they thought we were going to give them something. But as you can tell, they are not starving. This is a hand tamper, but it makes a really good stand for the camera.
I don't know if I already said, but I did put up some icicle lights and lights around the doors and windows. We're now going to work on putting up the lights that go over and along the edge of the roof. working along the side of the house. Aren't you excited? Yeah, I like lights. This is how excited I am about having lights. I love lights. There goes my Christmas light crew. We got everything strung up and now we just wait for nighttime to see how awesome it looks. Another fun craft I like to do during the winter time is take oranges, put whole cloves in them, and you can do this in different patterns. And then you can either go ahead and wrap that with some ribbon and hang them, or you can roll them in some old spices that you're trying to get rid of. And it's also really fun to do with kids, and it is a great way to add some winter cheer and spice as they're hanging around your house. So I went ahead and finished doing this one, kind of just filled it in. This other one I tried to make designs on. This is somewhat like a bell. This is kind of a star. And I just tied a ribbon onto it. For the ones where I fill them in pretty much the whole way, I am going to roll it in some spices. Put this in and roll it around and there you go another little festive decoration I decided to hang one here over my sink nice little smell and it looks pretty and I'll find a place for the other one and I found a place for the other one I decided just to hang it here in the window Thanks for coming along as we got ready for the holiday season here on the Tom Rosa. For once, I'm actually looking forward to it getting dark today. <laughs> Otherwise, happy holidays and Merry Christmas to everyone out there. We really appreciate all your support as we've been starting our farming operation. See you next time. <laughs>